Hi everyone, welcome to our Marine Knowledge channel. This is your Sailor Basha. So this video is also related to uh, maintenance work. So this video is actually uh, for third engineers mainly. So every generators uh, we need to do uh, tap at adjustment. So each and every generator they have a specific, uh, you mean uh, specific procedure to follow to take a tap at clearance. So this is uh, ZPMD MAN B and W generators. For this generator, I will try to show you how to take uh, how to adjust tapper clearance. So go and check the video. This is the generator which we are going to take and adjust the tapper clearance. This generator maker is ZZMD MAN BNW. The idea for taking the tapper clearance will be same, but the procedure for adjusting the tapper clearance will be different with regards to the maker of the engine. So for this generator, uh, the initial procedure is the first you need to bring the unit which you are going to do the tapper clearance to TDC that is before injection it should be the particular unit should be before injection so to confirm that you can check the roller of the fuel injection pump should be before the peak and also you can cross check in the flywheel where you can see the marking of number 5 unit is in TDC so we are going to take number 5 unit and it is clearly shown in the flywheel and another way is you have to turn the push rod of that particular unit so that the push rod should turn freely this ensure both the inlet and the exhaust valves are in close position okay so first step for adjusting the tapper clearance for this kind of generator is you have to loosen the adjustment screw on valve bridge and rocker arm so the first step we are going to do now loosen the adjustment screw use a big screwdriver open the lock nut and loosen the adjustment screw this is how you have to do just turn it and go to the valve bridge side and again do the same thing loosen the adjustment screw for both inlet and outlet valves so first step is done next step is you have to place the feeler gauge so for this uh, unit 0 0.50 is for uh, mm is for uh, inlet and 0.9 is for exhaust so we are keeping the feeler gauge between the valve spindle and rock ram so once you keep the feeler gauge in that place then you have to tighten like you have to uh, close the you keep the filler gauge in place and you have to tighten the lock nut tighten the lock nut on the rock ramp side which we are going to do now so you can see the filler gauge is moving easily it should not be very tight and it should not be very loose you it has to just go between the area freely so once that is done what you need to do is as i said you have to lock and tighten tighten the lock nut so this is how you have to do while holding the tightening screw you have to be very particular it should not turn so let the feeler gauge be there then we go and adjust the clearance between the next okay the same size for both inlet will be always 0.5 and 0.5 for this type of engine so again we are fitting the filler gauge between the valve bridge and valve spindle so again you have to tighten it tighten the tightening screw so that the filler gauge should not go very freely or it should not go very tight so this is what we are checking so now we have checked the filler gauge is going in a good way now hold the tightening nut 
tightening screw should be hold with the help of screwdriver big screwdriver and tighten the lock nut so that's all this is how you have to set the tappet for the inlet side so you can see the filler gauge is going properly and it is not very tight and it is not very loose so you for this kind of engine you have to set for both the spindle guide uh, for the spindle guide so next we go for the exhaust side first we completed the inlet and now we go for the exhaust so for the exhaust side the maker had recommended to have a gap of 0 0.90 mm for inlet it is 0 0.5 and uh, for the exhaust it is 0 0.9 the same way we follow for the exhaust valve also so first you take the proper size of uh, filler gauge which is 0 0.9 0 0.90 mm for this kind of uh, generators so the filler gauge is ready so next what we need to do is you have to first check the clearance between the valve bridge and valve spindle which we are going to do now so same way sorry for the video is little shaky okay so first the same procedure just keep the filler gauge between the valve spindle and uh, valve bridge just keep 0.9 it is okay next you have to hold the tightening screw with the help of uh, screwdriver and tighten the lock nut with the help of spanner so ensure the point 0.9 is going in a proper way it should not be very tight or it should not be very loose that is what you have to keep it in mind so hold with the help of screwdriver we are adjusting now because it is going very loose so we are adjusting to go in a good way okay now it is going properly now we can lock the lock nut hold the screwdriver and just hold the tightening screw with the screwdriver and lock the tighten the locking nut so first part is done let the filler gauge be there only and we have to cross check one more time whether it is okay or not yeah it is perfectly fine and next we have to go for the other spindle guide uh, other valve spindle okay so again 0 0.90 keep the filler gauge between spindle and uh, bridge so just tighten the adjustment screw so that the adjustment screw hit the filler gauge once it is hit then close tighten the locking nut and as i said earlier hold the tightening screw with the screwdriver and tighten the locking nut again now we have to check whether it is moving properly or not okay that's all here we are done with adjustment of tapper clearance for this particular unit okay done So after watching this video, you must have got some uh, idea about how to take, uh, how to adjust tapper clearance for uh, ZPMD and BMW generators. If you have any queries, please uh, put in comment box. Definitely I will reply you. Keep supporting. Bye guys.